It was late, but Miss Oliver's writing assignment was due the next day. And I want you to be as creative as you can possibly be. And remember, truth can be stranger than fiction. Fiction, 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 fiction. It was Friday morning, and as usual, I was taking some pictures on my way to school. I had just kicked off a shot when I saw the lady drop the envelope. I ran over and picked it up. I shouted at the car to stop. Thanks, kid. Then it happened. Hey, uh, kid. Here's a little something for your trouble. Spend it all in one place. Let's go. I thought it was a buck, but it was a hundred dollar bill. My name is Eddie. I live in New York City, East Harlem to be exact. Here's where I go to school, PS72. School's tough, but it's a lot more fun ever since I got a teacher named Miss Tolliver. Miss Tolliver makes us keep a journey. And I want you to write about what you learned today. I took the idea and ran with it. Perfect checkup. Oh, hi, Eddie, come on in. Right next to that rectangle is a whole bunch of triangles. My mom has lots of names for this mess, but I call it my file. So I went to class with a hundred dollar bill burning a hole through my pocket. And get this, we were making our own money. Oh, that's cute. Don't look at that money, interesting. Okay, good, very nice, okay, very nice money. Okay, let's go. Mulas. A hundred shillings. A thousand cars. Twenty thousand cats. Ten thousand peaches. A hundred zamoleons. A thousand maize. Good, okay, nice money. Look ahead. Then Miss Tolliver brought out more money. But from different countries. Take a look at this money and see how it compares to ours. And I want to see if you can tell me what country you think this money comes from. Nady, you want to tell us something about the money? Our money is all green, and this is different colors. Like, ours is a little bit bigger. Our dollar bill doesn't have corn right there. These have like a symbol, I guess, that represents their country. If you hold it up to the light, you can see like the little villages and stuff in the back. It's oh. like pyramids. And if you hold it up to the light, you see somebody's face. You see like a lion's face. Wait. This one has a vulture. This $500 bill comes from Israel. Chile and France. I think it comes from the Dutch. It's from Central Kenya of Africa. You have marks. Germany. OK, again. Japan. Good observation. Now. In our money system in America, then, you know, we have dollars, we have bills, and we have coins. So if I have $49.25, what is that decimal point separating? The dollars from the cents. OK, so then how many whole dollars do I have in $49.25, Nada? 49. 49 whole dollars. And then what is the 25 cents, then? What does that represent? A quarter. And so how is it related to a dollar? A quarter is one fourth of a dollar. So is it the whole dollar? No. no it's so what is it then if it's not the whole dollar? It's a fraction of a dollar. It's a fraction of a dollar. It's a part of a dollar. That decimal point is separating the whole dollars from part of a dollar. Now, could someone tell us what place is the two in? The two is in the tenths place. Good for you. And then in what decimal place is the five in? Hundredth. Good for you. Everyone, let's say it. Hundred. So now, in decimal place value, then, I have tenths, I have hundredths. The next decimal place? Thousands. Then the next one would be? Ten thousands. And then the next one? Next one? Now tell me one thing. How do you know 
how a number gets its value. By the place that the, the number is in. Good for you. Place value. The value of the digit is determined by its place. The, the value, value of, of a digit, digit is, determined is determined by its place. The value of a digit is determined by its place. <laughs> Tell me why. Why do we need this money? I mean, you know. We need money to, to buy things. Okay. You're going so Miss T opened her own store so we could shop for school supplies. So everything here is in American money. To buy the supplies, she gave us some money. And I am going foreign to give money. you 600 shillings, 15 marks, 1,072 yen, 74 pesos aquí, and finally, seven pounds. Now, you have shillings, you have pounds, you have pesos, you have marks, you have yen. I got American dollars. Can you buy in my store? No, we cannot buy from your store because ours are from foreign countries. So what are you going to do with this money that comes from foreign countries? Well, I will have to change it. And what are you going to have to change it to? American money. <laughs> My name is Ivan Asensio, and I'm a research analyst for Bank of America. When I was 9 or 10, my family and I moved here from Nicaragua. When I was young, I always pretty much wanted to deal with money and work with money. We're just collapsing here. This big room, it's where we buy and sell currency. So dollars are traded for different types of currencies all over the world. For instance, DEM is Deutschmark, Germany. JPY is Japanese yen, and so on. As you see, there's more computers and people in this whole floor. My name's Carmen Sifrig, and I work in foreign exchange sales. The screaming you hear in the background is our traders. We could have at least a billion dollars move through the trading room in a given day. Under a million dollars is considered tiny. I mean, what's the next major level here? Like Ivan and I work together on a daily basis. I work on strategies and problem solving. He does a lot of number crunching. Math is key in what I do. Math is very important. Math is important in everything you do. When it comes to exchange rates, decimals are very important. If you look at your Italian lira, there's 1,672.40 Italian lira per U.S. dollar. And if you look at the Australian dollar, it's all quoted in decimals with 0.7774. Decimals do make a difference because just one pip out to the 10,000th place could be tens of thousands of dollars. What I like best about my job is that I always have an idea of what's happening in the world. The best thing about my job is dealing with money in such a dynamic environment. You learn something every day. That guy always wanted to work with money. I'm not sure what I want to do. I guess that's why I keep my files. Now, you will notice on your chart, in the last column, it tells you to do what operation? Multiply. Multiply. Okay. What country do you have money from? Germany. Germany. What do you have to multiply by? One and five tenths. Okay. In the back. Mexico. And you have to do what? Multiply by seven point four. Okay. Over here. England. What number will you have to multiply to convert? Seven tenths. Okay. By seven tenths. What country are you? Kenya. Okay. What do you have to multiply by? Sixty. So you can begin. And as soon as your charts are finished, you can come up to the store. Okay, okay, what's that? So we learned a lot about decimals and how to convert one kind of money into another. What do you have to do? What do you and we had a lot of fun making our own play money. Okay, I gotta go open up the shop. But it sure felt good to have the real thing in my pocket. Do you have the money? Uh, you overspent, you don't have that much money, you can't buy. Anyway, after school, I took the $100 bill over to Vincent's. Okay, okay, look, you come by at 10 o'clock and your prints will be ready. No problem. Okay, bye, bye-bye, bye. I hate it when they call me Vince.
Anyway, Eddie, let's have a look at this C note of yours. Vincent said he should look at it, just to make sure it wasn't a fake. Looks pretty good to me. Old Ben Franklin never looked better. <laughs> hey, what's this? Just as I thought. It's a phony, Eddie. A bogus bill. 100% counterfeit. Come here, look at this. You see? You see this line under the portrait? It's one hundredth of an inch off. I was in a state of shock. Then Vincent really lowered the boom. Eddie, I'm gonna have to report this to the authorities. Authority, authority. Come on, kid, I said move. Coming through. Prisoner coming through. This him? Yep. Name's Eddie. Book him for passing counterfeit money. Book him, book him, book him, book him. Eddie. Eddie! This woman is a Secret Service agent. Agent Hicks, Secret Service. How the heck are you? She wasn't what I expected. Uh, Vince here tells me that you're the one that got the fake bill. Well, actually, it was me who discovered the flaw in the printing. You see, there was a line that was off about two hundredths of an Son, inch. Son, you mind if I ask you a few questions? Uh, excuse me. The name's not Vince, it's Vincent. Agent Hicks must have asked me a hundred questions, and Vincent tried his best to answer them all. Okay, Eddie, describe the woman for me. Was she wearing a hat? You know, when I questioned him earlier, he told me that she was wearing a blue suit, not too dressy. With I was trying to remember what she looked like when I realized something. You, you took, took a, a picture? picture? Hey, Arnie! Incoming! Put a rush on it! Prono! Eddie, why didn't you tell me you took a picture? Thanks, Arnie. This is her? Before I could answer, Agent Hicks grabbed the photo and... Jackpot! We've struck gold, baby! If we magnify this photo by a factor of 2.5, we may be able to see the license plate number of the car. Eddie, you may have just busted a billion dollar counterfeiting ring. I gotta move fast! Thanks, Eddie. I'll be in touch. Remember, the name's Vincent. Well, what can I say, Eddie? We're heroes. You know, being a hero is okay, but having a hundred dollars would have been better. Then I began to think about all the money in the world. Who makes this stuff anyway? The Bureau of Engraving and Printing prints all of the nation's paper currency. We print approximately 22 million notes per day, and that amount totals to about $535 million. We print the ones, twos, fives, tens, twenties, fifties, and one hundreds. Counterfeit money is money that is not legal. It is fake money. Anybody who sets up a print and press and decides they're going to make some money is breaking the law. We're not looking for the $10 or $20 bill that comes from the bank or from a store. We're looking for the people who actually have the print and press in his or her home and is doing the actual printing of the money. The paper that the real money is printed on is a special kind of paper. You can tell the difference if you take up a real note and then hold a piece of paper from your notebook and just feel them. You can tell there's a difference in the feel. We use the microscope to determine whether a bill is counterfeit as opposed to being genuine. On this bill, it's very obvious that this is counterfeit because this G inside of this circle should be the same G in this serial number. I found out that the $100 bill was the most counterfeited. 
In 1996, we started making the new $100 bills. They have more security features than we had previously. The printing of the new $100 note was the culmination of many, many years of testing and research and designing. The main features of the new currency include the enlarged portrait. A second image of Ben Franklin also appears in a sort of hidden place. You have to hold the bill up to light to be able to see it. The color shifting ink is made in a special way. It looks green when you look at it straight on. But if you tilt that note, that same ink will look like it's black ink. I use decimals all the time. <laughs> you have to have the correct fraction of ingredients in the ink or the money won't be printed properly and we'll have to destroy it. I find everything interesting about my job. It's a very challenging job. I have to know a little bit about a lot of fields of science. Since money was on my mind, I decided to stop at Aunt Rose's. She owed me some money for taking care of Hector when she went to Mexico. Ah, gee, Eddie, <laughs> I'm a little short on cash right now. But I think I have some Mexican pesos here that I forgot to exchange. Oh, oh here they are. OK, it's really easy. All you have to do is go to a special bank, and they'll convert them into dollars for you. See? I think it's more than what I owe you. That night, I went to see Johnny. I thought he might know where I could exchange the pistols. Hey, Eddie. I told him about the fake money and me being a hero and all. Wow, Eddie, that's cool. Way to go. But you got to understand, Eddie, it's not like on TV where they catch the bad guy in half an hour. It could take weeks, maybe months. Oh, speaking of money, Eddie, I delivered a package today to the Italian embassy. This guy gave me a tip. 4,000 lira, Eddie. Can you believe it? Two 2,000 lira bills. It sounded like a lot of money to me. No. It's about a buck and a quarter each, Eddie. Hey, here. Why don't you keep this one for your files? I mean, you being a hero and all. So the $100 bill was a fake, and the 2,000 lira was worth about a buck 25. But when I converted the pistols, it was worth over $20. Things were looking up. Boy, you know, Eddie, this uh, lira would be really tough to counterfeit. Look at this, it's got watermarks and... Wow, look at those lines. They must be two hundredths of an inch thick. Vince! Eddie! We got her! I just flew in from Morocco this morning, and we got a full confession, names and everything. It's all on tape. We never could have done it without you, Eddie. You're a true hero. You too, Vincent. Mr. Speaker, the President of the United States. My fellow Americans, today we are here to honor a great American hero. Armed only with a camera, this brave young man put his life on the line to save our ever-fragile economy from financial ruin. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to present to you all the way from PS72 in East Harlem, Eddie. Oh, and his friend, Vince. Or, uh, uh, Vincent. Thank you, Eddie, for that wonderful story. Would someone like to go next? Everybody liked my story a lot. But you're not gonna believe what happened next. Eddie. I really understand why the class liked your story so much. I didn't know you had such an imagination, and I really loved the way you worked me into it. Did you know, Eddie, that I have read every Sherlock Holmes book and seen every episode of Columbo twice? Um, 
Can I, I... I need a roll of film, please. Black and white, 36 exposures. Coming right up. How you doing, kid? A hey, voila. That's uh, 497 with the tax. Can you break a hundred? I guess it's time to close the files. I have a feeling tomorrow's gonna be a big day. Yes.